What the fart are we gonna do today, Charlie Brown? Go where it stands. First thing you got to do is find out where they are. And that's pretty easy in the winter time because you just follow some tracks. But they're usually down in the cedars, uh, balsams, and the thick stuff down in the low areas, not high up in the hardwoods. We haven't got some snow in a while, so it's it's difficult to find out where they're moving just because you have all these old tracks as well. But you can see the difference between the old tracks here when it was a lot more powder and then since we've gotten a little bit of a melt um, you can see just in in the skiff on the top the fresh tracks so you really want to find a line that they're they're following pretty heavily so right here's an older line but you can see that it it runs right through that channel there and you got to get down to their level so this has some older tracks but then there there's some newer ones on here as well um, and there's also a predator that ran walked down it but there's not a not really a great pinch point there that we can set up a snare on it but maybe on the other side this is this is where things become quite difficult when there's just because we haven't gotten any fresh snow in the last few days it is just polluted with tracks and it's a little bit of a crust on top so then instead of following in their little highways that they pack the snow down. They um, are just kind of going wherever they want. There is one line in here that uh, we will definitely take a look at uh, and put a snare on. So this is an older line here, but, uh, but I can still see some fresh tracks on it just coming up all the way down. So we'll, we'll put one attached to this limb. So I've pre-made some, some, uh, loops here. You want to make sure you attach it to your anchor point uh, significantly just so it doesn't pull off, wrap it around itself. And now we need to uh, build in the kind of the channel to corral them right through the center of it. Just using dead limbs you have lying around.
And that's it. So there's quite the line there. And we will use this branch here to anchor it. And it's a good life branch. It should be strong, strong enough. So you want your loop about four inches in diameter. That's, that's Ontario law. So four inches on, in diameter using a 22 gauge, 22 or 24 gauge brass or copper wire. So I'm using a 22 gauge brass. Um, and it has always worked well for me. When you build your kind of corralling area, you always want to make sure you use dead dead wood that's lying around. If you pick off a bunch of live branches, sometimes they'll just stop and eat them and mess up the whole thing anyway. So we're also going to put some on this side just to keep them from going around. So you got to check a snare every day. And the reason for that is, um, uh, there's just, you're competing with all the predators. So, I mean, like, look at all these fox coyote tracks. There was some lynx tracks over there. Um, wolves constantly competing. This is why you got to get out early, even though I am, uh, and find some because, or check your snares, because I mean, you're, you're fighting the, the other predators. So you can see these drag marks here. He pulled one off one of my snares last night or early this morning, and, uh, he's dragging them away. And I guess we'll see where it goes. And lastly, be respectful. Don't put lines along regularly hiked trails. So people don't have to come across an animal that uh, you've hung up and clean up your lines afterwards. Pull all the wire out of the bush. It'll kill the trees or hook into something else. Happy hunting.